Assalamu alaikum again my dear students hope that you all are fine so let's move to the next lecture what is the topic what is the chapter from your fun time i have selected another fun time for you and that's from chapter number 19 which is about adjectives comparison of adjectives which is present on your page number 64 so let's begin the topic but before that i would like to tell you what do you mean by the comparison word do you ever compare yourself with someone or have you compared anything with any one yes why not because the life is full of comparisons we are competitive we are competing in our life we are actually the competitors so why should we not use this in our daily routine so let's begin the comparison of the adjectives that how should we utilize this activity in our grammar that tells us the meaning of the comparison first in a grammar a comparison is made of three main important things that are the components of the adjective the first one is positive the second one is comparative and the third one will go with the superlative usually we are known to these elements by a degree we call them degree and these are actually the comparisons of the adjectives like positive comparative and superlative so how we are going to utilize these three degrees in our daily life let's see some of the important rules present on your book along with the formulas also that you are going to put in your fun time that it will be easy for you to learn let's see page number 64 that tells us with some important examples for example our page has been started with an important uh, example that is number 1 hamid is a small boy like if hamid is a small boy what do you think is it a positive degree yes it is but how should we know that it's a positive one because i haven't compared hamid with anyone we all know very well that there must be some comparison of hamid with someone or something but there is no uh, comparison so it means that we are using just a positive degree because there is no comparison so it is very simple that what is the positive degree of adjectives of comparison that is just no comparison then we talk about a single sentence that in grammatical language we call them a simple sentences those are no counted in any comparisons so let's see ali is smaller than hamid if it is an example on your book then what do you find over there let's see i will uh, spread it on my board and you i will share this thing with you ali is smaller then hamid now i have spread this example on the board by doing so i come to know that there are two nouns and there is a comparison that tells us that comparative degree is a comparison of two things two persons at a time so here you can see that this is the first person and this is the second person in this sentence and we are comparing both by using an adjective of a small and i have added another thing here that is then so how i put this thing in it for a comparison this is actually a comparative degree that i have compared the two persons by using an adjective of a small and putting it in l e r i have added this this is suffix that we are going to learn after that that how should we use the suffixes here because then is important here and without then we are not able to compare the two things if i 
remove then from here what will happen ali is smaller hamid is it look good no not at all because then is a comparison word so it is mandatory to use the word then for the comparison of two things so it is very clear that this is a comparative degree now move to the next category that is the superlative degree now this is going to be a very important degree a very important comparison of uh, any of the adjectives because now we are going to talk about the whole things i would like to spread this uh, uh, once again because this is very good example for you for example if i say that ali is the taller or the smaller or the smallest so what have i done i have i haven't complete this, completed the sentence moreover i have done a mistake here and that is that i will not use the second degree because i am not going to compare it with only one person ali is the smallest or the tallest i have selected the two adjectives at a time to show you that how you should utilize this degree ali is the smallest or tallest then whole class then the whole world then the whole family so i have just selected ali is the tallest or the smallest by putting a punctuation mark of a uh, stop to show that ali is the tallest i haven't compare ali right now with anyone to show that he is the super one so he is the tallest or the smallest there is no comparison of anyone with ali so ali is smallest or tallest from all that's the superlative degree so move to your uh, books and see on page number 64 you can see there are three circles and we are very uh, easily identify able to identify these three superlative positive and comparative degrees for example there on a blue color we can easily see the bubble the simple form of the adjective is called positive degree of the adjective and for the comparative it has been mentioned that the form of the adjective used in the comparing two objects is called the comparative degree as we learned before and for the superlative the form of the adjective used in comparing more than two objects is called superlative degree so these are going to be the definitions of all the three elements of the adjectives that how we should compare them let's move to this formulas now and how we are going to utilize some of the formulas it will be a very beneficial process for you that before putting the rules i suggest you to please write some of the formulas how let's see the noun because every sentence is started with the noun that is also our subject in any of the sentence so how we are going to do and it has been followed with a verb then comparative comparison will be done let's begin the formula i would like to share this formula with you because it is important to know about the formula of it that how should we use a comparison in our sentences for example the first is subject which is our noun also plus verb plus comparatives yani comparison it means that we have to use the comparison of adjectives but be careful that the comparison should be adjectives because we are talking about the qualities of someone whether they are good or bad so be careful about choosing an adjective that should be used for the comparison and followed by then in the end there will be object so let's see choose any of the sentence for it for example see the picture here in the picture you can see a goat a cow 
and the third animal that is elephant. So what's going on in this picture? Goat is big and cow is bigger than goat. So let's begin the comparison first. Positive will be done in the same way like goat is big. There is no comparison. It's simple subject and object along with uh, is which is your helping verb for your verb. Then let's see this example. Subject is goat and then the next subject will be cow. Cow is bigger than what? Goat. Cow is bigger than goat. This sentence is followed by this formula that tells us some of the rules of it. What are the rules? Let's see on your pages, book page number 65. The comparative is usually formed by adding ER to the degree, to the positive. When we add big with the ER, we have used it as comparative adjective. So it means that this is one of the rules of using comparative degrees. That how should we use it? We should add ER to the positive one. This will become simple comparative and rest of the rules we all know. See your book pages number 65. My room is larger than hers. This tells us that all the words that has been written in bold are all your comparative adjectives because ER, they are followed by the suffixes ER in their writing. Larger, smaller, faster, higher. So all the ER words are your simple comparative adjectives. Got it? So let's move to the next formula that is about the superlative form. Let's see that how we are going to change it by using the formula. The formula will be very simple like the before one because subject plus verb plus what? Plus superlative. Superlative what? Adjective plus what? No, plus object. But I am going to add, unlike the comparative degree, I have added there, then I would like to add one more thing here and that is the. Because there must be some article. The is used to specify or for the particular thing that we are talking about. So, S plus V, the plus superlative adjectives will be followed by an object and how we are going to put it according to this image here is the elephant who is the biggest animal so I would like to spread this formula like the subject is the elephant is the what should I do with the superlative adjective is the biggest. I have added one suffix in here for the superlative form and that is EST. Yes, just like the comparative one because in the comparative I have used ER for the positive one. Just same is the case with this. I have used EST suffix here to tell you that what's going on because this is superlative degree of the adjective. So see the elephant is the biggest of the two animals or you can say that he is just a, it is just a biggest. But don't forget to use the article B because this tells us something about the superlative form. Just like the comparative it is mandatory to use then it is also mandatory for the superlative form to use the article D. Okay, let's move to the page number 65 and 
here we can see so many uh, beautiful forms of the superlative adjective. See largest, smallest, fastest. These are all our superlatives. See page number 65 again and here you can see some of the forms of comparative degree along with the superlative degrees. See the page. The positive one has been given to you small, smaller, smallest. Same, tall, taller, tallest. Short, shorter, shortest. Bold, bolder, boldest. Young, younger, youngest. What have we done to them? We have added er suffix to the all comparatives one and we have added est to the superlatives. Exactly, you got it. See more examples on the bottom of your page number 65. There are some more examples, the more comparisons have been given to you. Like noble, nobler, noblest, fine, finer, finest, brave, braver, bravest, large, larger, largest. Switch to page number 66. This page is one of the important pages of your all the pages of comparative adjectives. Why? Because there are some rules and regulations of writing them. Let's see that the first rule tells us what? When the positive ends in E, only R or ST are added. This is the first rule that I told you before that when we ends in E, we are supposed to write R or EST as suffix. Then number two rule is when the positive ends in Y with a, a consonant before it, Y is changed to I before ER and EST. Now what is this? We have already discussed this thing in the singular and plural forms like there, if there was I, we, what we do? We omitted the I. Y and we use I E S T for that. Same is the case with this. If there will be any Y, what will you do? You will cut the, that Y and you will write I or I E S T. That's the point. Number three. When the positive is a word of one syllable and ends in a single consonant with a short vowel before, the consonant is doubled before adding and EST will be there. Exactly, you got it. What are vowels? We all know that vowels are A, E, I, O and U. So when there will be this sound or there will be consonant, what will we do? We are going to double it because they are telling us some long word syllables. Now this, is, uh, ha this has been used for the superlative forms. How? If there will be the word rich. How many words I have syllab? I have just pronounced a single word by using a single syllable rich. Rich. There is no other syllable. And if I am using the large word, the longer word, for example, beautiful, how many syllables are there? B, E, T, F, U, L. There are four syllables. So there will be no E, R, there will be no I, E, S, T. Just you have to use a prefix, prefix for this. And prefix will be more for the comparative and much for the superlative will be more beautiful, much beautiful. And if there is only single syllable, then you will use the suffixes that is ER or EST like richer, richest. Got it? So this is the main idea of writing comparative degree and the superlative degree in different ways. There are some more examples on page number 66. See your table. Positive degree is good, better and best. 
Why? Because these are some of the words that are irregular and these irregular verbs doesn't need any suffixes or any prefixes. So these will be write, written in little bit different way. Let's see more examples. Bad, worse and worst and rest of the words will go in this way. Now have a look on page number 67. There are some more examples of more and much that I have discussed with you. How? Let's see. Expensive. Expensive. I have used the syllable of three words. Expensive. So the word is little bit longer. What should I do? I have to use more and much as a prefix for that. Like more expensive much expensive got it swear more swear most swear beautiful more beautiful most beautiful interesting more interesting most interesting delicate more delicate and most delicate these are all the words that has been followed in the same way so have a look on exercise number one give the comparative and superlative degrees of the following adjectives here i will just share a few examples with you for example number third there is a word small smaller and smallest what you have to do you have to write both the degrees there is another word cold colder coldest more words hot hotter hottest because these are the single syllable words so i am just adding er for the comparative and est for the superlative is there any longer word dangerous yes the last word is little bit longer so what will i do i will not write dangerous or the dangerous this is the wrong word what i have to compare i will just write more dangerous and the most dangerous got it so rest of the words will be done in the same way let's move to page number 68 here is exercise number two you just need to put the comparative degrees here uh, like her ring is pretty than mine here is the comparison of two persons so what you have to do you will just write the comparative degree that is pretty and prettier why will be skipped here it will be omitted and you will write I E R which is prettier number two is cheetahs are the fast animals we can found cheetahs are the fastest because we are watching here that D has been used which is a specific article that tells us it is a superlative form so what we have to do we will write E S T for the fastest the next is eating fruit and vegetables is healthier than eating dogs. So it means that this is your comparative degree. The next is I like milk, good will be changed to better because it is irregular. So it is, it is not uh, uh, confined that uh, you should use any of the prefix or the suffix, just write good for the better better than coffee it is a comparison of two things so you you will write the comparison of two things so rest of the sentences will be done in the same way at the last of the page there is a revision session for you pick out the adjectives in the following sentences and say whether it is adjective of what you have to just identify it by uh, using your nouns also you have to describe your noun i will just come uh, share a few examples with you for example number one the poor old woman gets little food here are the poor old and little these are the three adjectives what is the adjective how they are describing a noun poor old is the qualitative adjective and little is the quantitative adjective that we have learned before same dr abdul qadir khan is a renowned scientist dr abdul qadir khan is a proper noun and renowned is a qualitative adjective that is connected to dr abdul qadir khan and is describing his quality got it the next is one little lamp was lame here is another quality one adjectives of number little adjectives of quality lamp was lame lame will be another quality of the lamp got it so rest of the sentences will be done in the same way time for a diary dear students please complete the given sentences which i haven't completed 
because I want you all to please complete according to the given lecture. Best of luck, complete your work as soon as possible. I hope that this lecture was beneficial for you and please try to solve the rest of the sentences that I haven't solved today. You have to do it because it's going to be your task and be have a fun with Ren and Martin. Allah Hafiz.